Welcome to the biggest science quiz competition of Northeast, SciConnect 2018, conducted by Vigyan Prasar. We all have gathered here in Aizol for SciConnect 2018 Level 2 Quiz Competition Program. I am Ms. Natalia, your anchor and your quiz master. Today, we are honored to have with us Sri Sachin Narvadia, scientist from Vigyan Prasar, coordinator of SciConnect Quiz Competition. SciConnect is a program specially designed for the students of Northeast regions and initiated by Vigyan Prasar, an autonomous institution under the Department of Science and Technology, Government of India, in collaboration with all state councils of science and technology situated in different state capitals of Northeastern states and Sarba Shiksha Abhiyan Assam. The specialty of this quiz show is that it is based on the content of the films produced by Vigyan Prasar and syllabus of the 8th and the 9th standard. Today, we are here in Aizol and the children have come from schools of different districts across Meghalaya. Situated in the hills of eastern Himalayas, Meghalaya, which means the abode of clouds, is one of the most beautiful states in the country. Nature is very kind to Meghalaya, blessing her with ample rainfall, sunshine, virgin forest, high plateaus, breathtaking waterfalls, crystal clear rivers, meandering streams and hospitable and sincere people. Cherapunji and Mausin Ram are one of the wettest places on earth, creating very remarkable waterfalls and some of Asia's longest caves. As today, we are here for the SciConnect program. Let me give brief about the program. This program has three levels. Level 1 was a district level competition. In this level, all registered schools of Meghalaya were given 33 science films produced by Vigyan Prasar for the screening at schools. After screening of films, an objective type written examination was conducted jointly with Meghalaya State Council of Science and Technology and Environment, Shillong. From the students who participated in the written examination, the first 30 students were selected for level 2 quiz competition come hands on science workshop. Out of the 30 students, the first 15 students are now facing the quiz competition and all 30 students participated in the three days hands-on science workshop organized by Vigyan Prasar. The first winning team of level 2 from Meghalaya along with all other northeastern states will go to the final level to be held in Agartala, Tripura, the level 3. Level 3 will be a regional level final quiz competition which will be held in Agartala. So I welcome you all again. We are starting the Sai Connect level 2. Before starting the quiz show, let's have a quick introduction of all the participants. So please introduce yourself. We will start with team A. Hello, my name is Sodibdha. I read in class 9. I study in Kindra Vidyalaya Nehu and my hobbies is to read books and play cricket. Hi, my name is Jessica Ularpi. I am from Kuchpariya Secondary School. I am studying in class 8. My hobbies is singing and dancing. Hello, my name is Basha Skhamnukundri. I am from Michael Home Secondary School. I study in class 9. My hobbies are playing football. Thank you very much team A for your introduction. Now let's have an introduction for Team B. Hi, my name is Peacefully Ranja. I study in class 9 from school, Gujapur High School, school Jangsha. My hobbies is to play basketball and gardening. Hello, my name is Maharnab Goswami. I read in class 9 and I am from Kivi Nehu. My hobbies are playing guitar and listening to songs. Hi, my name is Iban Sari Ranja. I am studying in class 8. The name of my school is Gujapur High Secondary School. My hobbies is to play basketball. Team B, that was a beautiful introduction. Coming to Team C, let's hear their introduction. Hello, my name is Vanin Punya. I am studying in class 9 and I am from Kendra Vidyalaya Nehu Shillong School and my hobby is to play cricket. Hi, my name is Fasina Mursinong Spoon. I am from Kuchipat Hill Secondary School. I am studying in class 9. My hobby is to play basketball. Hello, my name is Nishan Sharma. I study in class 9. I am from Kendra Vidyalaya Nehu Shillong. 
My hobbies are playing cricket and reading books. Thank you, Team C. Now, let's have an introduction for Team D. Hi, my name is Tessie Borjerwa. I study in Class 8. I'm from Racing Secondary School. My hobby is to play in football. Hi, my name is Satviki Chaturvedi. I study in Class 9 in Kendriya Vidyalaya Nehu and my hobby is drawing. Hello, my name is Ethel Barnarum. I am studying in Class 8. I am from Good Shepherd High Secondary School. My hobby is to play football. Thank you so much, Team D, for the introduction. Let's have an introduction for Team E. Hi, I am Precious Tanurum. I am studying in Class 8. I am from Good Shepherd High Secondary School. My hobby is to play in football. Hi, my name is Avipsa. I study in Class 9 of Kinder Vidala Nehu School. My hobbies are painting and sketching. Hello, my name is Alban Rizkambar Jarwa. I studying in Class 8. I am from Rising Secondary School. My hobbies is playing football. Thank you, Team E. Let's start off with the first round. In the first round, each team will get two questions with multiple choices. If unanswered, the question will not pass on to the next team. Each question will have 10 points and the answer time is 10 seconds. I hope that is clear to all of the teams. Shall we get started? All right, let's start off the first round with Team A. Team A, are you ready? Yes. Are you excited? Extremely. Okay, that's very good. Now here's your question. Let's take a look at your question on the screen. In case of camera, the SLR stands for which of the following? Your options are A. Single lens reflex B. Single lens refract C. Single lens reflect or D. Single length reflect Answer A, single lens reflex. And that is the right answer, Team A. Congratulations. <laughs> Coming to Team B. Team B, are you ready? Yes. Are you well prepared? Yes. Okay, let's take a look at your question on the screen. Which substance is made up of monomers joined together in long chain? Your options are A, ketone. B. Protein C. Ester or D. Acid Option B. Protein Option B. Protein and that is the right answer. Congratulations, Team B. As we all know, proteins are polymers of amino acids. So protein, option B is the right answer. Now, can we move on to Team C? Team C, are you ready? Yes, ma'am. All right, hold your mics. All right, Team C, let's take a look at your question on the screen. What is the meaning of E in algebra out of the options coming on the screen? Your options are A, difference, B, mean, C, sum, or D, height. Answer is B mean. B mean. I am sorry, that is a wrong answer. The correct answer is C sum. Team D, are you ready? Yes. Are you nervous? No, we are excited. All right, that's very good. Now let's take a look at your question on the screen. In which of the layer of the atmosphere does ozone act as a UV radiation shield? Your options are A. Mesosphere B. Stratosphere C. Thermosphere or D. Troposphere Option A. Mesosphere Option A. That is a wrong answer. The right answer is option B. Stratosphere and Team C, don't be disheartened, don't lose heart. There is still so many other questions to follow. Alright, can we move on to Team E? 
All right, Team E, are you ready? Yes. All right, let's take a look at your question on the screen. About what percent of body might is water in a healthy body? Okay, your options are A, 70%, B, 90%, C, 20%, or D, 30%? A, 70%. And that is the right answer. Congratulations, Team E. All right, let's go back to Team A. Team A, are you ready for your second question? Yes, ma'am. Okay, let's take a look at your question on the screen. Which characteristic of water helps it to dissolve many substances? Your options are A, bipolar nature. B. Intramolecular network C. High latent heat or D. High specific heat uh, It's option A. Bipolar nature Option A. Bipolar nature. That's your answer. And that is the right answer. Congratulations again Team A. Bipolar nature is the right answer because water is polar and is capable of forming hydrogen bonds which is why it can dissolve many substances. Team B, are you ready? Yes, ma'am. Let's take a look at your question on the screen. Which pollutant in drinking water causes changes in DNA? Your options are A. Cadmium B. Mercury C. Fluoride or D. Lead Option A. Cadmium Option A. Cadmium And that is the right answer. Congratulations, Team B. <laughs> Team C, are you ready? Yes, ma'am. Are you excited? Yes, we are excited. Okay, that's very good. Let's take a look at your question on the screen. Six dozen eggs are bought for rupees 108. How much will 132 eggs cost? Your options are A. Rupees 204 B. Rupees 264 C. Rupees 184 Or D. Rupees 198 Option number D, rupees 198. Option D, rupees 198 is the right answer. Congratulations, Team C. Coming to Team D. Team D, gear up. Let's look at your question on the screen. Liquid protein on heating converts to solid protein. What is the phenomenon called? Your options are A, coagulation, B, solidification, C, polymorphism, or D, polymerization? It's option B, solidification. So your answer is option B, solidification, but that is a wrong answer. The right answer is option A, coagulation. Let's move on to team E. Team E, are you ready? Yes. Okay, this will be our final question for this round. Let's take a look at the question on the screen. For landing of aircraft, which of the following are used as air brakes? Your options are A. Flaps B. Tail C. Turbofan engine or D. None Your time is up and you did not answer the question. The right answer is A. Flaps. Alright? Okay, with that, we have finished round one. We will move on to round two. But before moving on to round two, let's take a look at your scores. With that, Team A and Team B are on the lead with 20 points each. Team C with 10 points. Team D hasn't opened their account yet. And Team E also with 10 points. Now we shall move on to round two.
The round two of our competition will be a one-word answer round. Each team will get one question with 10 points to each question. The question will be one word answer type and if unanswered, the question will pass on to the next team only and will carry a bonus of 5 points. For pass on team, the time will be 10 seconds only. And the answer time will be 20 seconds for the first team. Okay, so let's start the second round with team A. Team A, are you ready? Yes. Alright, let's take a look at your question. In 1942, which famous scientist became the first Director General of Council of Scientific and Industrial Research or CSIR? It's Satyendranath Bose. Satyendranath Bose. And unfortunately, that answer is wrong. It will pass on to the next team. JC Bose. JC Bose is another wrong answer. The right answer is Shanti Swarup Bhatnagar. As we all know, in honor of Professor S.S. Bhatnagar, the famous award is being handed out every year in the field of scientific research. Let's move on to Team B. Team B, are you ready? Yes, we're ready. All right. Let's take a look at your question on the screen. Mathematics is the gateway of key of all science. Who said this statement? Euclid. Euclid is a wrong answer. The question passes to team C. The answer is Ramanujan. Ramanujan is another wrong answer. The right answer is Roser Bacon. Don't lose heart, your question will come. Let's take a look at your question on the screen. World Tuberculosis Day is observed on which date every year? Eighteenth September. Eighteenth September. You're almost there, but that is not the right answer. Now your question passes on to Team D. Twenty-eighth September. Twenty-eighth September. Again, another wrong answer. The right answer is on twenty-fourth March. Now, Team D, it's your turn to answer the question. Let's take a look at the question on the screen. Name the synthetic fiber used as artificial wool. Jude? Jude. Jude is not the right answer. So the question passed on to team E. Acrylic? Acrylic. And that is the right answer. Congratulations, team E. Acrylon is the right answer. But we will take your answer, acrylic, as the right answer. Okay? Here is your chance to win another 10 points. Team E, are you ready? Yes. Let's take a look at your question on the screen. Dr. Vasant Ranchot Gawarikar was Indian scientist associated with which subject?
Your time is up. Your question passes to Team A. Physics? Physics is a wrong answer. The right answer is space and weather science. With that, we have come to the end of round two. Let's take a look at the scores. Team A and Team B with 20 points. Team C with 10 points. Team D hasn't opened their account yet. And Team E with 15 points. We will start with round three. Team D, don't lose heart. You still have lots of chances to catch up with the other teams. Now in round three, it is a buzzer round and it will have a negative marking. Each team will get one question with 10 points to each question. The question will be one word answer type. And after the appearance of the question on the screen, you have to immediately press your buzzer if you know the answer. The opportunity for answering will be given to the team who responds first. The wrong answer will deduct two marks from your points. And for the right answer, you are going to get 10 marks. If your answer passes on to the next team, there will be no deduction of marks. And if the next team can answer that question, they will get a bonus of five points. All right? Can we start off with the buzz around? Get ready with your buzzers. All right, teams, are you ready? Yes. Okay, let's take a look at the first question. Michael Faraday is associated with which subject? Team E presses their buzzer. Your answer? Physics. Physics. Okay, the answer is physics and engineering. So I will take that as a right answer and you will be getting points there. Congratulations, Team E. Your second question, let's take a look at the question on the screen. Which mathematicians came to be known as Cartesian system? B presses their buzzer. Rene Descartes. Rene Descartes, that is the right answer. Congratulations, Team B. Now let's move on to the third question. Let's take a look at your question on the screen. Give the name of a flat sheet of muscles making the floor of the chest. Team C presses their buzzer. Diaphragm. Diaphragm is the right answer. Congratulations, Team C. Ready with your buzzers. Let's take a look at our question on the screen. If we dissolve sugar in water, then the solute is what? Team C again presses their buzzer. Sugar. Sugar, and that is the right answer again. Congratulations, Team C. All right, teams, are you ready? This will be our final question for the buzzer round. Okay, get ready with your buzzers. Let's take a look at your question on the screen. The property of material which opposes flow of current is termed as what? Team E presses their buzzer. Resistance. Resistance. And that is the right answer. Congratulations, Team E. With that, we have come to the end of round three. Let's take a look at the scores. Team A with 20 points. Team B with 30 points. Team C with 30 points. Team D hasn't opened their account yet, and Team E with 35 points. And with this, we will begin our fourth round. Round four is a photo identification round. Here in this round, each team will get one question as a picture which will be shown on the screen. 
If they can identify the picture without any clues, then 10 points will be awarded to the team. And 2 points will be deducted for every clue that they have asked. And I will be providing them with 4 clues. If unanswered, the question will not pass on to the next team. The total time for answer will be one and a half minute. Alright, let's start round four with Team A again. Team A, are you ready? Clean your eyes. Let's take a look at your photo on the screen. Can you identify the bird? Hill Mina. Hill Mina is wrong. I'll give you a clue. Okay. It is a bird of open woodland and cultivation. That's your first clue. Next clue. Next clue. It is a member of the Oriole family of passerine birds found in tropical southern Asia from India and Sri Lanka east to Indonesia. Third clue. Third clue, this bird lives in common contact with humans in rural and urban India. Fourth, Fourth clue, its name starts with the color name. So which color are you going to choose? Your time is up. The answer is black hooded oriole. If you take a look at the second clue, we have the oriole family. And if you take a look at the fourth clue, you can see that it's black. The hood is black. Team B, are you ready? Yes. Okay. Let's take a look at your photo question on the screen. Can you identify the animal? First clue. First clue. They are small to medium-sized mammals. Second. Second clue. They are a presumed vector and natural reservoir for the disease in Texas and Louisiana and Florida. Next. Next. They are mammals in the order Singulata with a leathery armor shell. Last. The last clue, the name of this animal starts with the letter A. Your time is up. The answer is armadillo. Armor, armadillo. Okay? Alright. Let's move on to Team C. Team C, are you ready? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Let's take a look at your photo question on the screen. Can you identify the animal? Lioness. Lioness is not right, so I will give you your first clue. It is a mammal native to South America. Next clue. Next clue. 
It is the largest living rodent in the world. Guinea pig. Guinea pig. I'll give you your third clue. They inhabit in savannas and dense forests and live near bodies of water. Now think about it. Fourth clue, the name starts with the letter C. Cheetah. Cheetah is a wrong answer. The right answer is capybara. Okay. Team D, are you ready? Yes. Okay. I wish you all the best. All right. Let this be a point to open your account. Okay. Team D, let's take a look at your photo question on the screen. Can you identify the bird? First clue. First clue. It breeds in warmer parts of the world in Southern Europe, Eastern Asia, coast of North America, Eastern South America, and Australia. Second clue. Second clue. It nests in a ground scrape and lays two to five eggs. Third clue. Third clue. Formally, it is also known as Sterna relotica. Fourth clue. Fourth clue. Its name starts with word gul. Can you figure it out? Your time is up. The name of the bird is a gull billed tern. Now, Team E. Team E, are you ready? Yes. Okay, so far so good? Yes. Okay, let's take a look at your photo question on the screen. Can you identify the bird? Sparrow. Sparrow, that is the right answer. Congratulations, Team E. And with that, we have completed the fourth round. Let's take a look at the scores. Team A with 20 points, Team B with 30 points, and Team C also with 30 points. Team D yet to open their account, and Team E with 45 points. We have come to the final round, round five, the rapid fire round. Okay, teams, are you ready? Yes. All right, in this round, each team will be asked continuous questions for one and a half minute or a maximum of eight questions. The answer should be given in true or false only. Each question will carry five points and we will have one representative from the team who will give the answer. Okay? So are you ready? Alright, let's start off with Team A. Team A, who will be representing the team? My name is Sodeep Dhar and I am representing Team A. Alright, Team A, let's take a look at your questions. The Space Pope Mariner 10 flew to Mercury three times in 1974 to 75. True. Right. Sunspots are caused by magnetic fields? False. Wrong. Wind flows from an area of low pressure to high pressure? True. Wrong. Humidity is good for plants and uncomfortable for us? False. Wrong. In general, the temperature is always highest away from the equator? 
True. Wrong. Saltwater crocodile is considered as biggest reptile in the world. True. Right? The atom consists of huge amount of energy called nuclear energy. True. Right? Rainwater can cause tides. False. Right. With that, Team A has got four right answers, giving you 20 points on your table. Congratulations, Team A. Team B, are you ready? Yes. Who will be representing the team? I am Maharnab Goswami and I'll be representing Team B. Okay. Let's take a look at your questions. Some objects like boomerang have center of gravity outside of body. True. Right? Glass is solid but has the molecular structure of liquid. True. Right? A quantity which takes place a fixed value is called variable. True. Wrong. Two numbers that forms ratios are called terms. False. Wrong. A cold front has cold air behind it. False. Wrong. During thunder and lightning, staying alone under tall tree is safe. False. Right. Rain gauge is used to measure rainfall. True. Right. Clouds are sometimes seeded to make them rain. True. Right. And with that, Team D, you have got five right answers, giving you 25 points. Congratulations, Team B. Let's move on to Team C. Team C, who will be representing your team? I am Ranit Bhunya and I am representing Team C. Okay, are you ready? Yes. Alright, let's take a look at your questions on the screen. The price at which an article is sold is called cost price. True. Wrong. If mean and median are given, we can calculate mode. False. Wrong. Cumulus is name of a planet. True. Wrong. Luke Howard devised classifications of clouds. True. Right. The major mountain range on Earth are fold mountains. True. Right? Mangroves can survive in water, lock, and mud. True. Right? Rainforests are warm all around here in temperature range of 20 to 28 degrees Celsius. False. Wrong. A synthesizer is an instrument which can make sound electronically. Right. And with that, Team C, you have got four answers right and you have scored 20 points. Congratulations, Team C. <laughs> Moving on to Team D. Team D, who will be your representative? Hi, I'm Satviki Chaturvedi and I'm representing Team D. Okay, are you ready? Yes. Alright, let's take a look at your question on the screen. An act or process of performing random experiment is called outcome. False. Right? A collection of possible outcomes of experiment is called an event. False. Wrong. Max Planck first proposed that light is purely wave only. False. Right? The speed of light is 300,000 km per second. True. Right? Copper can conduct electricity and heat. True. Right. Arsenic is metalloid. True. Right. Zinc reacts with dilute sulfuric acid producing hydrogen gas. False. Wrong. Carbon reacts with nitric acid producing hydrogen gas. True. Wrong. With that, Team D, you have got five right answers and that gives you 25 points on your account. Congratulations, Team D. Now, coming to Team E. Team E, who will be your representative? My name is Abhip Sapati and I'll be representing Team E. Okay, are you ready? Yes. Okay, let's take a look at your questions on the screen. An equation involving only one power of x is called linear equation. True. Right. 
The amount borrowed as loan is called interest. False. Right? Metals cannot conduct heat. False. Right? Metals are called sonorous. True. Right? 11th President of India, the renowned scientist Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, born on 15th October 1931. False. Wrong. Dr. Kalam was popular among children for his motivational speeches and was affectionately called the People's President. True. Right. S. Chandrasekhar was an Indian American astrophysicist. True. Right. In 1984, Chandrasekhar was elected as a Fellow of the Royal Society of Physics. False. Right. And with that, Team E, you have got 7 right answers, giving you 35 points on your table. Congratulations, Team E! With this, we have come to the conclusion of Level 2 Sci Connect Quiz Competition of Meghalaya. As all rounds are over now, I invite Sri Sachin Narvadia, Scientist and Coordinator, Sci Connect, to announce the final score. Thank you, Ms. Natalia. We had very good quiz competition today. The success in quiz competition is based on teamwork. I wish to share some lines on teamwork by Charles Darwin. It is the long history of humankind and animal kind too that those who learn to collaborate and improvise most effectively have prevailed. By the end of multiple choice question round, Team A and Team B had scored 20 points each. Team C and Team B had scored 10 points while Team D could not score any point. After one word answer round, Team A, B, C and D could not improve their score, whereas Team E got 5 bonus points, taking their score to 15 points. After buzzer round, Team B gave one correct answer and Team C gave two correct answers and both Team B and C moved to 30 points each. Team E praised the buzzer twice and gave two correct answers and took their score to 35 points. Team D did not praise the buzzer. After photo identification round, only Team E improved their score by identifying the photo shown to them and took their score to 45 points. Rest of the teams could not identify photos shown to them and remained at the same scores of previous round, while Team D still could not open their account. After rapid fire round, Team E did extremely well by giving correct answers to 7 questions and moved ahead by adding 35 points to their score and total points earned were 18. Team B moved to second position with 55 points and Team C came third with 50 points. Initially Team E was in the third position till round 2 but thereafter they improved their performance tremendously by giving most of the answers correct and emerged as winners. Team A, B, C were good but could not match Team E in the last round. Final score for all the teams stand at Team A 40 points, Team B 55 points, Team C 50 points, Team D 25 points and Team E 80 points. My heartiest congratulations to all the teams by giving tough fight to winning team Team E. Now Team E is recommended for the finals to be held in Agartala. Thank you, Ms. Natalia. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sachin Narvadia, sir, for announcing the scores for all the teams. I congratulate Team E for winning this quiz competition and I wish you all the best for Agartala. I offer my best wishes for all participants and I wish you all a bright future ahead. Now with this, we have come to the end of the show. Thank you all. Psychonic is one of the programs where we see students come up with many ideas. Seeing, uh, giving them hands-on science activities, giving them quiz competition is one of the uh, toughest tasks. It was hard for us in the first place to see and coordinate how students are to come and go about. But seeing the success story of the students, seeing them taking part, seeing them getting knowledge and acknowledging 
other team members has been a privilege for me to be a part of the team. Psychonet, the quiz competition, it's not only about quiz, it teaches us many moral values of our life which we can implement with others. It teaches us how can we interact with other people whom we have never seen or talked with. Enhancing our knowledge is also a great feature. The learned scientists and all, they provide a very great field for us to enhance our skills. The hands-on experience and the other lectures, we get, uh, we get to know many new things and we learn to see signs around everyday life which we generally ignore and don't care about. Through this program, I do hope that it will help the students of Meghalaya connecting uh, them with science and then applying the methods of science in their daily life. SciConnect has been a great opportunity for the young students, for us. Uh, when I was selected for representing the state of Meghalaya, I was very excited. And after coming here, I was just, it was very great feeling because something that is not in our books, that we cannot learn in our books, we have to look into the nature. And that's why it has been a great opportunity for us, great achievement for us. And I've learned many things from this from SciConnect. SciConnect is not only a quiz competition, but a program to nurture the scientific temperament, logical thinking among students. It allows students to think about science, to look around themselves, not only in physics or biochemistry, but even in field of chemistry, I found students are very interactive. They are eager to learn. They want to learn chemistry. They want to do. And their response is very positive. They are very happy. I think this program is a boon to notice. It provides them a lot of opportunity to have scientific temperament. We look out of the book about the nature, about the machines and many other things and our professors also give us uh, many important notes about our daily lives, about our machines and many more things. Experience about PsyConnect is very good as coming in top 15 is very difficult out of many students uh, from Meghale. Uh, from PsyConnect, we, we learn how to be a team, how to represent our state and how to be a leader for our coming days.